So tonight I'm gonna to show you what I do with my leftover corned beef, dressing it up in a different outfit. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I'm gonna to be making Reuben style cabbage rolls for you with my leftover um, corned beef. And all of us have corned beef and cabbage, well not all of us, but some of us have corned beef and cabbage and then you don't wanna have it again and again and again. So this is a way you can use some of the same components you got on sale for your corn pe corned beef and cabbage dinner, but you're gonna dress it up in a different outfit like I promised. So come on in and I'll show you how easy this is to put together. And it's really just a few simple ingredients. We've got corn beef, corn beef our cabbage that I will steam down so I can roll, make the rolls. I've got a Swiss cheese blend of Gruyere and Swiss um, and sauerkraut and home canned beef broth and homemade Thousand Island dressing. So all that is is ketchup, mayonnaise, and sweet pickle relish, and we're good to go. So come on in, let me show you. Okay, so I cut the core, as much of the core as I could out of this, and as this steams, it will release these leaves that are exposed here. It's gonna release those and allow me to be able to work with this cabbage. So this is the cabbage I got on sale for nine cents a pound. Yes, thank you. This corned beef, I got this corned beef a couple of years ago for $1.99 a pound. So much better than today's prices and that's why it, it pays to pack your food storage. So I've got water in my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cabbage boiling. I will bring you back when I've got leaves peeled off and I'm ready to do the mixture. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl for this mixture and oh, it's gonna be so delicious. You're gonna love it. Okay, so I've got all my cabbage leaves over here. I've got them steamed and ready to go. They're cooling off. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up and I'm gonna do it with my hand, my Thousand Island dressing. We'll see how much I need. And you're gonna break up the meat a little bit. This meat is like fork tender, so. I just really, I want to generously coat it. That's all I want. And then the rest of that salad dressing can go in a jar for later. Look, perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect the first time. And off comes that glove. It makes it super easy. And now I have salad dressing mm, for the rest of the week. For salads. And I'll just put that in one of my canning jars and save it. I am going to need another glove, but for now, okay, I've got beef, beef broth that I've home canned. That's what I'm going to be using to um, steam the, because everything's cooked. Um, I've got sauerkraut here, and this is how I'm going to layer it. Let's get, let's get a couple big leaves. Hopefully, I did these long enough, <clears throat> and I like to cut out that, I don't know if you can see, but I'm cutting out that tough little core area of the cabbage. It's just right there. Does that, does that make sense? And we'll get, let's just see if we can do it with a spoonful. We'll get a spoonful and we need our, we need our cheese open, holy cow. I almost forgot. We've gotta open the cheese and we're gonna need a fork or a spoon for the sauerkraut. I've been letting the sauerkraut drain and I get an organic variety at uh, Fred Meyer that I really like. It's got um, a small batch artisan um, uh, sauerkraut. It's very, very good. I love it. So, so this is how we're gonna do it. We've got corned beef, right? And we're gonna do this just like a regular cabbage roll, only this is gonna be low carb a Reuben. I mean, if you've had, if you love Reubens and you're trying to be low carb, this is the way you can do it, right? So now get the meat mixture, a little kraut, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna spread. We don't want that to overtake, but we definitely want it in there. It's prevalent in a Reuben sandwich and some cheese. Again, don't let it, you know, take over. And that's kind of a farmer cut or thick cut cheese. And we're gonna roll this up just like any other cabbage roll. Okay? Just like that. 
that little package all rolled up. We're gonna put that in our um, pan. I'm gonna use one of these only because it's easy. I'm probably taking this to work tomorrow and I wanna be able to share, but I don't wanna have to worry about getting my pan back. And we can just dish out of it and be done, right? Okay. Oh, now, meat, meat mixture. And those of you that have leftover corned beef, let me know in the comments what you're doing with it. Are you dressing it up in a fun outfit like this? Or are you just having leftover corned beef and cabbage? Same old, same old. Um, we'd all like to know, I think. Okay. And I'm not gonna really worry about getting my hands in touching that and then touching the cheese because it's all gonna end up in this dish, just so you know. Okay. And get those leaves wrapped around. I may I may have could have actually steamed those a little bit longer. So we're gonna keep wrapping, wrapping these up until you get a nice little package, seam side down and tuck them in there pretty tight. You'll be happier with the end product. Okay, we'll get this core out of here. I hope you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. And I'd be anxious to hear what you've got planned for the rest of your corned beef, if there's any left. I know a lot of people have corned beef on St. Patty's Day and don't know what to do with all the leftovers. They'll have sandwiches or, you know, they just have boiled dinner again, but it's kind of fun to do something different. I have done egg rolls. I have done a uh, some wontons. I have done, I've gotten pretty creative over the years. I've done a casserole that you deconstruct it instead of corned beef and cabbage. So, yeah, let's do it. And roll it just like that, like a so, like a so. All right, I'm gonna finish rolling the rest of these and I'll bring you back. The oven is ready. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comment section by giving me a thumbs up, possibly sharing this on your Facebook page or your social media because, gosh darn it, this is just good stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who wants some of these? Let me know. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> so I got all the rolls done. There's 16 cabbage rolls. Some of these are bigger, some are smaller. It just depended on the leaves I was using. I'm gonna open my beef broth and get that down over this to just steam it, right? We're just gonna pour down on the bottom, down on the bottom. It doesn't have to be a ton. Just, you know, half inch up the sides maybe. And that will help steam these. Everything is cooked. We're just steaming them until the cabbage is super soft and we are happy. And I saved the rest of that cabbage. So that only used about a cup of beef broth. And I might do a little bit more. Um, about a cup of beef broth. I'm gonna cover this with parchment first. I don't, I, I am not one, I am one of those people that does not like foil, lightweight foil products touching my food. And then the heavier foil is okay. Okay, anyway, it's going in a 350 degree oven until they're steamed and tender. And I'm going to bring them out and show you what they look like. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to have mine with mustard because I like mustard, Dijon mustard on a Reuben. So I get to have a low carb Reuben from St. Patty's Day dinner, dressed up in a different outfit. All right, in the oven it goes for about 45 minutes. Okay, so I have, the cabbage rolls are out of the oven. I took 
the parchment and foil off and some of them got a little browned on top and that's totally okay. I'm gonna grab a couple of these and we're gonna get a picture and they're, oh, they're in that broth. Let's take these two off the top. Ooh, stringy cheese, look at that. Ooh, yum. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm excited now because we have cheese. Mm. OMG, yes. So I want, because I like cheese, I'm gonna put a little bit extra here on top. Just a little, you know, um, you don't have to do that at all, but I think it's a, a beautiful thing to have that. And then I am going to use some Dijon mustard because I love Dijon mustard on my Reuben. So I'm gonna have that like off, just as a garnish over here, a condiment, I should say. And I'm gonna get a picture up close and I'll bring you back when I am doing a taste test. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. Okay, so I've already cut one in half and this, this last one was one that I double wrapped so there's a lot of cabbage and that's okay because I love cabbage. So we want some, oh yeah, you got some cheese. Look at the cheese. Oh, can you see that? The cheese, oh my gosh. For the Reuben, a little bit of mustard there. Oh my goodness, I can't even get the cheese to stop stringing. Yum, okay, a little dip in the mustard. Give it a, give it a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes and yes please. Oh my goodness, that is beyond delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is, let me cut into the other one that's like a little smaller. And I know I, I had it a little more compact. And I can kind of show you the bite. Oops, some cheese. Runaway cheese. It's, it's always a problem. See that with the corned beef and the sauerkraut in there? Mmm. It's like a low carb Reuben. You can't resist. Absolutely delicious. Delicious. I can't wait to share these. And guys, I hope that this inspires you to step outside the box dress your leftover corned beef if you have any i've talked to several people that said i don't have any leftover hmm. maybe because they're still going to be on sale for a minute pick up a couple cook some off and try your hand because you could freeze these you could try your hand at some low carb reuben cabbage rolls all right i can't wait to see you next time i hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up share this on your social media and I don't know, come back next time. Maybe even subscribe, all those things. Okay, I'm gonna have dinner. We're gonna call it delicious. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and hit that thumbs up for me.